Hey guys, welcome back to Flower School. We're thrilled to be with you for the holiday and to be a part of your table decor. We have some amazing things for you. When you get your box, what I'd like to do is show you how to take care of your flowers in preparation for the class. Now the class is gonna be on Wednesday, live at starting at two o'clock to three. 30 and I'll be there to answer your questions and if you have any other questions you're, you're welcome to email us. Now uh, what you're going to need to get started is your box, a vase or a uh, like a bathroom size garbage can um, bucket full of water, cold water please. Uh, you're also going to need a spray bottle or uh, some other glass bottle where you can maybe do some spraying as well as do some dumping. Uh, you're also going to want a pair of scissors or a clipper if you have them. Okay, so we're just going to get our materials ready to hydrate. Now they all come wrapped up in paper like so. Uh, so what we're going to do is unwrap them individually. And for everything, we're going to give it a fresh cut. Okay, and put into the water. Now this is magnolia, and we're going to put that in water. And this magnolia can use a little extra moisture. So we might just spray it. If you don't have a spray bottle, that's okay. You can use your fingers. Uh, the next guy we have in here. Looks like now it's gonna still be. Wonderful. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the foliage um, right before we use it. Okay, it's not gonna last very long, uh, but we're gonna give these guys a fresh cut. Again, you can use your scissors or your clippers. Cut. I'm going to put it in the, in the cold water, and the distillery also likes to be moist. So I'm going to moisten it. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is fun. These are our roses. Great. Now, so as you guys have um, known from some of our other uh, classes and the book, is that flowers do much better. Um, with no foliage on them, because the foliage is where all of the moisture escapes. So we're going to pull all the foliage off of our flowers, okay, especially our roses, and we are going to give them a cut with a clipper on an angle, like so, and we're going to put those in water. Excellent. Ah, oh, these are great. Now, we have our, our big flower that we're going to be using is the animals. Now, these amaryllis, uh, they take a little bit of time to open, so you're gonna have to do a little extra work. So. The extra work with the amaryllis, you can see these are white and red. They're spectacular. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spray bottle or a bottle of water or whatever it is that we have with us, and we are gonna dump water into the hole in the stem. Now, as you'll notice, the water is not dripping out through the bottle. And these are actually just filled with water right now. That's going to kind of activate our flowers and get them ready to open. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to pull back this skirt here. So you can see there's this layer on the outside of the flowers. Pull those babies back. What's going to happen is it looks fresh and nice now, but in a day or so, it's going to look terrible. Not to mention, it's going to prevent your flowers opening to the fullest. Okay. Now that I've removed my skirt, okay, I'm going to take my flowers and dump the water out here, and I'm going to put these aside as well with the rest of the flowers. And again, most flowers really enjoy a nice spritz, not the roses, but definitely the animals. And we want to keep them in a warm area. That way they open a little faster. Okay. Right here. And then next. Uh -huh. We have a sprig of Pieris. This is a really pretty fun foliage that we're going to be using. Again, we're going to be able to give it a cut. Put it in. Okay, of course we have our vase. We can set that aside for now. We have some curly willow here. Curly willow is pretty easy. You can just pull it out and stick it in the water. Obviously, I'll give a fresh cut to in one second. Uh, and this is right up here. Okay, these are our leucodendrons here. These silky leucodendrons. These are wonderful to use. Again, like our curly willow, we're gonna give it a cut and put it in the water. 
give it a cut, put it in the water. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we have some Ligustrum berry here. Open it. There's a lot of things are open here. And we'll discuss all of this stuff tomorrow, obviously. But if you take a look, here's our legustrums. Fresh cut, spray, and into the water. Okay. And lastly, looks like we have some spray roses here. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Again, remove the foliage. And just be careful, there are thorns. I'm an experienced professional. All right, so I can just pull them. Again, we're gonna cut and put into the water. Now, these guys should stay in water in a, uh, a sort of a warmer area for a day or two. If you see the flowers kind of start to poop out a little bit, then what you're gonna do is uh, take the vase, change the water, and put it in a cooler area so they don't go too quickly. But these should last you a full seven days, so I wouldn't get too nervous about that. But uh, save this, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Uh, I'll, be happy to, I'll be able to answer all your questions, and I look forward to seeing you guys, and we're gonna make some wonderful things together.